Liam Gallagher reacts to SNL Oasis skit, Are They Meant to Be Comedians? Oasis frontman Liam Gallagher isn't laughing after Saturday Night Live poked fun at his legendary spat with brother Noel Gallagher. In response to a fan asking about his thoughts on the sketch show's take on their feud, Liam Gallagher took to X to call the skit excruciating. In the Weekend Update skit, SNL cast members James Austin Johnson and Sarah Sherman play the brothers, goading and bickering with each other like children using exaggerated English accents. But they do agree on a few things, SpongeBob SquarePants, their favorite Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, Donatello, and the best drug rat, Tommy Pickles, all given legend status. They don't just agree on cartoons, though, their favorite Sex and the City boyfriend is Steve Brady and their least favorite is obviously Mr. Big, the toxic legend he is. In the comments to his ex-post, Liam added, I wouldn't expect anything else from them, and later wrote, are they meant to be comedians? Kamala Harris, Donald Trump face off on Family Feud in SNL Cold Open. The Gallagher brothers were often at odds when the band toured in the 1990s, and their hostility continued afterward. Oasis split in 2009 when Noel Gallagher, the band's lead guitarist and main songwriter, said he could no longer work with their frontman, Liam Gallagher. The band for years had denied ever reuniting. But the brothers announced their first performances in 19 years after their legendary spat put the band on hiatus. In August, the Gallagher brothers announced 2025 reunion tour dates in the United Kingdom, and later, in North America and Australia. All United Kingdom and North American dates are sold out. According to the band's website, a tour in 2025 will mark the 30th anniversary of Oasis' second album, What's the Story, Morning Glory, which included the singles Don't Look Back in Anger and Wonderwall. What's the Story, Morning Glory, went on to sell more than 22 million copies worldwide, becoming the best-selling album of the 1990s in Britain and the band's breakthrough in the U.S.